Here's Barbara checking out the jade. Um, usually if you get a little, well, I get a little spooked out. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Well, let's go over here. <laughs> so you see the light colored stones on the upper left hand side, that's River Jade. Uh, the skin is very thin. In fact most of most of the jade in this batch are river jade. <laughs> This is a combination of, of uh, green and lavender. Yeah, it's still a little dark. You can see they suggest um, where the bangle placement All right, would I'm be. Gonna this is a uh, commercial jade. Find out. Um, but you can see there's this degree of translucency. But uh, these cracks here are potentially problems, but you never know. Never know. There's a thing called cleavage where you can just go a very uh, short distance below the surface and you'll see a parallel uh, fracture that's totally invisible uh, from the surface. But these people come here at, at 5 o'clock in the morning. Every single day. There's no such thing as a weekend here. Have you ever done that? 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 Have you Nihau. Nihau. Jade Myers here. Yabaka. Yabaka. Pretty strong people. <laughs> Okay, so one of the things that's interesting is when we were at the uh, the Jade Emporium in the Mandalay Convention Center. All of the stones were marked with a lot of writing, 
Some had paper on it. Uh, that means the stone has been registered. Okay, she's closing for today because it's almost nine o'clock. But um, all the stone had writing on it, some with paper, and what it meant was that stone has been registered with the government and taxes have been paid. So taxes here is roughly 10% on whatever that assessed value is. And uh, I know a little about um, who does the assessment, uh, how does it get finally agreed to, the assessment value get agreed to.